Hey, welcome back, my friends. We're playing Mario RPG. Coming back from a little break, we took uh, a couple of days off in the middle of March, uh, mostly because of Breath of the Wild and a little, and a few other things. But we're back on the saddle. We're gonna be playing some Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. How y'all doing? Where we last left off, uh, I think we just got Princess Peach. Yeah, we got Toadstool in our party. We also have Toadowski over here. He wants me to uh, do some music for him. So let's see if we can uh, get this. Let's see uh, if any of these notes make sense on his chart. Probably none of this. None. Literally zero. Fantastic. Won't work at all. Alright, well, the, the point of him is to actually play, I believe, the Merry More theme. But, whatever, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Or no, um, in Merry More, if you talk to the woman who's at, like, the organ, um, he'll... He'll basically play her music, so, yeah. I think we went over that the last time we were here, though, so nothing too surprising here. This is the weird part. So before, we couldn't leave this way and everyone got mad. Now we have to go to Marymore and actually exit from this side. And no? Oh, right, I have to talk to Frog Fuchsius. That's why I was in the pond. A doy. That's why I was here. That's right. It's been a little while, so cut me some slack. Yeah. We have to talk to fo Frog E. Fushi. What do you got to say, bro? At last, I have the latest news, children. A large star been sighted on Star Road or Star Hill. A large star has appeared on Star Hill. What a shock. You mean that Star Hill has a bunch of stars on it? The hell you say. Alright. Now we can move forward. For like literally one sentence of dialogue. Now we can actually pass Mary Moore. It seems a little unnecessary. But what else? So this area besides being extremely whimsical, has a bunch of unique things to it. So you talk to these stars, and it allows you to talk to the flowers, and the stargate will open. It has a bunch of, like, random enemies to it. But I always remember this area being the place to use, like, your Yoshi cookies. This is the Star Road, or Star Hill. I always say Star Road. All right. Wishes, which were transformed at Star Road, fall from here. But, some wishes haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Frog Fuchsius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. So, yeah, you can talk. To I wish I had some cricket jam. Gee, I wonder who made that wish. So you got little hamsters over here. And so, let's see if I can immediately use it. Yoshi cookie on the Muku Muku. Oh. Yep, and he can eat it. And it becomes a Muku Muku. Yeah, it became Muku Muku. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember it. And... I do not at all remember what Muku Muku is. Oh, I have to I have to give her some items here, it looks like. Hmm, use one of those. And uh Yoshi candy is a healing item. Muku Muku ca candy. Or cookie, excuse me. Muku Muku, Muku Muku, Muku Muku, Muka Muku Uh Muka? Muku, 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 Muka. Oh. I have 
no, the no ideas. I hope my baby's cute. Aw, who doesn't? Alright, so... Gino, what do you have? You have Gino Boost, and that's all you got. And then Mario has uh, the Masher and Super Flame still. Oh man, I should really get Mallow out in here because I still have so many fortune cookies to read. And all these new enemies. Alright, so I think we'll keep Peach because she's brand new to the team, right? Gino Whirl. Okay, so Gino finally got his, like, reason for being. That's not terrible. Five isn't bad. Uh, three magic attack. I really wish, but Gino, you just have no point in having magic. So, sorry, bro. Um, but what I was going to say is we're going to switch Gino out for Mallow. Uh, just simply because Mallow has the fortune cooking fortune cookie reading. No, come back here. No, no, no. And he's gone. They're just worth a lot of experience and money, those guys. Never understood why I can't go from this, like, mound to the other one. So yeah, all these little stars have wishes on them. Can't wait to start a family. Is that the same person? I wish I was such a crybaby. <laughs> hey, this one's private. Who do you think you are spying on other people's wishes? Come on, our quest for star pieces is important. Everyone's counting on us. We've got to hurry. I... Sorry about that. It's just, I'm embarrassed about my wish. Aw, poor Mallow. Who knew he, he thought he was such a crybaby? Well, actually everyone did. Yay, I got him. Alright. Now I remember why I had Gino on my field. Because, uh... No one's fast enough to kill these things but him. Or, nobody's faster than those guys than him. A max mushroom. We got Mallow, a level up. That's uh, definitely not enough HP. Let's laugh at... Aw, oh, that's cute. Just like Gino. You're getting magic. Anyway. Get that bad boy. And it has officially opened up. Let's see what the Muku Muku cookie does. Or you know what? We'll save it for like a boss or something. I don't think there's a boss on Star Hill. I want to say it's just random enemies. So theoretically, we can kind of just move on. Most of the like stars here are just like Easter eggs. If I could just get that memory. Yeah, so like, and you can kind of guess which star is from each person so like the cricket jam was for frog fuchsias that one up there was for um to todofsky and like in a lot of cases you can kind of grant the wishes yourself by going around reading them and then answering their prayers so to speak um Holy crap, Ola. You actually lived. Get out of here. You're dead now. Um. But with that being said. Uh, oh, they are just straight up immune to that, aren't they? Aw, oh, it's so adorable with its little flailing about. It's so cute, I want to give it snuggles. Why are these things actually surviving a Mario mallet? Ooh, lucky. I guess they're just straight up immune to you, but let's read some fortune cookies. You have 92, and red? What What about green? Sleep sauce. Delicious, delicious sleep sauce. I guess I have a, a wake-up pin on uh, Mallow there, because that did literally nothing. Would you like to double your coins? No, I wouldn't actually. Level 10. Oh, so how to level up Peach. First of all, did you see how much health she was getting? She's getting nine. That's a huge HP bonus. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with 9 HP. That's like crazy. Um, but what was I talking about? Yeah, so when it comes to Peach's level ups, I don't know the best way to level her up. Maybe... Probably just magic. I mean, she's the healer, so, you know, the better her magic, the better her healing. Um, so her and, and Gino here, uh, excuse me, Mallow, will have very similar looking uh, level ups. What do you gotta say? 108? You, you trying to bug me? Oh, this guy's like Robert De Niro over here. Do, who are you trying to bug me? Do, do, am I here to amuse you? Ah, oh, it threw a coin at me, but it threw it really adorably. So. You think I'm, you think I'm cute? You think I'm here to, to entertain? Alright, let's, uh, let's do a group hug. I don't know if that crit or not. I want to say I messed up, but I couldn't tell. Curse bloosh. Oh my god, it was a bone. Another coin. I'm pretty sure I can uh, block those, and I'm just messing up the timing. So, uh... Whoops. Get those slaps in there. Actually, no, she came equipped with a, a weapon, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure the timing on the those notes. Alright, uh, what else do we have to fortune cookie? I think it's just the bandits. So if we can actually get one of them. And then uh, I'll have all of the fortune cookies. Or they can just run away, you know, that's cool. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need to be here, you know. So whatever, you know, you do what you want. Just want the best treasure hunter in the world. Oh, who's that, Rouge? Rouge the Bat make that wish? I'm actually trying to think who's the treasure hunter in this game. Maybe it's that Toad in, uh, the... The Toad that's in the, uh, Mole Village? He sells treasures. I wonder if that's who that they're, they're talking about. All right, just get that, and then uh, Miku Miku over here, Muku Miku Moko. Oh, we have Mr. Starman over here to read. I guess it makes sense that there would be a Starman on Star Hill. Take a bunch of slaps, like just barely not enough damage. It's a pulsar. Isn't that like a? I think I messed up. Oh no, I didn't. I'm a mini pulsar. Ah, I actually know the the astronomy term for a pulsar. A uh, pulsar, I want to say, is like a star at the end of its life cycle. That's uh. Oh, he just straight up did self destruct and didn't do any damage to Princess Peach. Maybe, maybe you would have killed her if I uh, didn't block it. I am not going to get this man. He is gone. See you later, Mr. Bandit. Uh, okay, so this one's yet another uh, special one. Please let Mallow find his way home. <gasps> what? This wish is, this is for my mom and dad. They're wishing for me to come home. Sniffle. This isn't the time to be crying. I'm not crying, you're crying! They're, they're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario. We've got a busy schedule to keep. I'll make you eat dust if you don't hurry. I always loved this song. Do, 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 do. Alright. Hit the old star bow. And, uh, yeah. Got that guy. Got this guy. Got this guy. What's one, what does this one say? I vent be... 
a vold, a vold class baker. I want to be a vold class baker. So there you go. That's the guy from. Those are the. The guys from, Mary Moore that made the cake that was alive. Pro possibly the, the apprentice specifically though. I don't know. The the apprentice had inconsistent dialogue. So, I don't know. Goodbye. I don't need you guys. You know, you know, screw you guys, I guess. I done messed up. Here. Give, give yourself some personal therapy there, Peachy. Peachy Keen. You know you're physically weak when even Mallow, who I've put quite literally zero levels in attack can still knock you out in a single like melee attack which actually means that mario should not have attacked him but you know it is what it is i already did it Ooh, peach you're just strong enough so proud so proud of my girl you're, you're stronger than mallow that's not much of an accomplishment but you are he threw a bob at me and i'm glad i guess it didn't explode so uh all right, well, we'll go through this next door, and I think we're going to call it... Let's see if there's anything immediately on the other side. Nope. All right, so that's going to end it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. I know it's pretty, like, a laid-back episode, but Star Hill is kind of a small area, so we're going to drag it out a little bit more. Uh, but, you know... We read about Mallow's parents wishing he was, like, still alive. And next time, I think we'll switch it up. We read most of the fortune cookies. I don't think we'll ever have Mallow be able to go before one of those thieves runs away. So, we'll we'll jump in. We'll possibly play with Bowser and Peach since, you know, we haven't used them as long. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.